the winter inversion is setting setting in settling in the sky is going to be pretty gross for the next little while so I am gonna bust out the air purifiers that we bought during those big fires cold I am out in the eBay shed to grab some more eBay sales things that need to be packed and shipped if you are not familiar with our eBay go ahead and look in the video description for that link 95 to 99 percent of what is for sale there is all salvaged from the bins including some of these things right here that I'm gonna be packing up. We sell lots and lots of clothing patterns salvaged from the craft store bins. I mean, you can see we've got totes and totes of them. They are our best seller, but also these stamping supplies and magazines that are from the craft store bins. Lots and lots of that good stuff. Great way to support the channel. Great way to support the mission. Great way to get some good deals on some good stuff. Here are a couple of the things that have sold today. If you are interested, if you are curious about finding how much, if you are curious about how much they sold for, hop on over to Patreon. Our Patreon link is in the video description. That information is available over there exclusively to Patreon. I've got the air purifier going. I took the last of last weekend's picks, things that we're keeping, and put them in the attic and got down shipping supplies for our eBay if stuff. If you were on our Facebook page and saw my post asking you guys to guess what it was that I was making with assorted dumpster supplies, well, let's take a look. Next New Year I'll raise my hand And raise my voice And turn and disappear I'll find what we lost in the fire And keep I wish I had like a Lazy Susan or some other kind of spinny table thing <laughs> that I could use to show you all of this in a more elegant way, but alas, I do not. So I've got that paper bowl. This is a bunch of tissue paper from the bins. It has been sprayed with some spray glitter from the bins. There are all of your gumballs. Ribbon and Rick Rack, thank you for identifying that for me. Assorted candy, lots of puffy paint. Yeah, we busted out the paints and added some snow. Thinking about adding some more, not sure. This was a fun project. I had a good time. It took forever, but I really enjoyed making my little gumball Christmas tree. I'm not sure where I'm going to display it yet. Maybe even just here on the table once I get everything cleaned off. You could do this in an edible form so that you were still able to eat the candy. You would just need to use like a royal icing, same as you would do with a gingerbread house. And obviously you couldn't use the non-edible decorations that I have used. But a really cool thing is if you just start looking around, especially in the craft store, you will find edible decorations 
to take the place of pretty much anything you can come up with. Or if you Google or Pinterest, you'll find ideas for how to imitate real life things with edible uh, ingredients. That is all I have for you today. Happy Vlogmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, my frugal friends. The kids and I are off to my nephew's concert tonight, a Christmas concert. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then we'll be moving on to other holiday activities. I have so many crafts lined up for the kids and I to do, and we'll bring you along for some of that. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you all very soon.